Hello and welcome everyone. In this video we will be talking about a decent car that you can get for starters. Now I say decent and don't say the best because there are others out there in the same category. But for me, my own experience, uh, this vehicle treated me well. But, but there are a lot of flaws that not a lot of people talk about that I will be unveiling based on my personal experience. I own this car since 2019 I think or 20 it's been four years it's been my daily and today I'm gonna be sharing with you all the flaws and the things that I hate about it but again it's still the best car in my opinion one of the best cars that you can get for starters so this is a 2015 Corolla is the 11th generation. The 11th generation is from 2014 all the way to 16. This particular one is a 15. First annoying issue, and I really, 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 really hate about it, is that Toyota made a design flaw when it came to insulating the speakers. Yes, the front speakers will fail on you if you're looking to buy a used one. Uh, inspect the speakers you might find one or both fronts not working why because water gets into the connectors and they corrode all the aluminum wiring that you have to redo i do have a video that i posted so you can check it over here or in the description below so there's no warranty for that of course i mean it's old now and it always happens sometimes you fix it and you don't insulate it well and it happens again so that is the first annoying issue that i encountered all right issue number two and it is water leak as well um the floorboard driver side floorboard uh body seam it fails the whole thing fails so you will get a like a pungent smell when you get in and um the carpet of course becomes wet and it just you know keeps getting worse it goes all the way to the back so i also posted a fix for that you can check it here or in the description below um body seam goes bad and you'll get water leak do not leave that don't say hey i'm gonna take care of it later it will corrode the connectors there are a bunch of connectors grounds important stuff over there like right here so you don't want moisture to get in there and you'll have electrical problems so that's another thing toyota should take care of it it should have been a recall but unfortunately it is not so keep that in mind all right issue number three this is uh depending on how you sit and how tall are you but a lot of other toyota corolla drivers also complain about this and it is visibility now when you sit and you can see that there is a huge huge blind spot over there it always happen whenever uh, i turn or something there's times where i hit something or like a, a hairline of a curb or something like that and i'll be like what the hell did happen and it's just i that that corner right there is just not really visible because this huge dash look how why this dash is it's not really a huge thing i mean all you have to do is be more careful and that's pretty much it it's better than uh, having water leaks of course um so yeah let's move on to number four all right number four is issues with the interior build it's a cheap build i mean there's plastic everywhere you expect that it's a corolla um, but the thing is, sometimes when you be jamming to music or even just radio, let's say listening to the news or uh, a podcast or something, that corner right there, that corner um, makes a lot of buzzing noise. I think it's that quarter panel rattles or the glass where it meets, um, I don't know what you call that. Uh, it's like the trunk cover or something like that. Here, let's go back and I'll show you. It just rattles. It makes a buzzing noise that is annoying. And you just want to turn down the radio. So, it's like that corner right there. Or like over here. Um, last time I inspected it, it was actually here. And it's just 
too much to take all this out and take care of it. I mean, it doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen. So keep that in mind. It's not a major thing, but honestly for me, it is annoying. But despite all that, what makes driving this car even better is this air freshener kit from Hollow Block. Hollow Block is a company that has a lot of accessories and air fresheners, mainly directed to Tesla. I mean, they have a sunshade that is approved by NASA. And as you can see here, Voyager 2, it is named after aerospace probe or spacecraft from NASA. It's pretty cool. Uh, check them out. I have a code for you guys, 10% off. Go check their products. They're pretty cool. This smells really amazing. I'm going to show you how it sits in the car. It's mainly derived for Teslas. They have a lot of attachments to Tesla. And uh, yeah, check them out. Pretty cool products. And uh, get your 10% off using my code RF10. Link in the description. All right, another thing about the Corolla is that it has a noisy suspension, especially the front end. Um, now, there was a recall with Toyota where it asked technicians to replace uh, the front control arms. Um, so keep in mind, if you have a noisy suspension, that's, they consider it a noisy operation, but for customer satisfaction, they replace the control arms. Another thing I don't like about this car is how slow it is. <laughs> I know it's economical. The engine is 1.8. Uh, it has a CVT but it is really, really, really slow compared to other cars. Um, a lot of people will overtake you. Um, I mean, you can put it in sport mode, sport mode, um, but you'll, tr you'll find yourself beating on the car. And of course, it won't like it. You will prematurely wear down a lot of engine components, um, even the transmission, so. This is a car that you don't want to use it as a race car or beat on it or anything like that. So expect it to be really, really slow. Uh, don't try to race others or if someone trying to cut you off, you just like gas it and all that. You will probably blow your head, your head gasket or valve cover. Your PCV is going to start screaming. So keep that in mind. Overall, it is a decent car. Don't get me wrong. I like it. It's pretty cool. And I, I didn't have any check engine lights, warning lights ever since I got it. But the key to that is that you have to maintain it. Whenever there's something wrong with your car, you got to be quick with it and be gentle. Be gentle. Don't beat on the car. Don't like go and like accelerate and, you know, try to look cool or whatever. Um, just you know especially this is a starter car you know it's your first car you probably don't have a lot of money so you have to take care of it do your best to take care of your car don't beat on it it's not worth it and don't get yourself into car payments okay <laughs> this is not a money channel but just throwing it out there so yeah thank you guys for watching i really appreciate your time leave a like if you enjoyed this video and please uh, leave a comment, um, tell us if there is another decent car that is affordable and treated you really, really well. If you have any questions about this car, leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer or other subscribers or viewers will answer them. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate you and take care. See you in the next one.